everyone welcome to the tech channel today we have a hard pulse sensor this is this one I ordered it from a cheap Chinese website this thing cost me actually a one dollar or one and a half dollar the genuine version of this module is made by another company I will show you the website for the company it's called pulsesensor.com it's written here and it costs actually $24 and it came with a lot of uh, accessories so you can make it right but today we have only this cheap version I don't recommend to use it in a project like a serious project for uh, uh, school or uh, something but this is just for fun we order it to try it but if you want some serious thing order it from the original website so this module has three wires the original one actually is uh, uh, black, red and purple uh, wires but this one has uh, different colors it's grey, black and another uh, color which I don't know I don't know the name of it in English or uh, in my native language so how this thing works actually there is a light here it will light up when we will uh, wire it with our Arduino board and you place your finger here and it depends on your blood flow the the led light here will uh, change the reflection the quantity of light uh, reflected will be changed and it will detect like a heartbeat this is how it detects so here what actually should do it should uh, cancel the noise and amplify the signal which is what we want which are uh, heartbeat but the problem with this module there is actually not very good uh, noise cancelling and the amplification isn't good neither and you're gonna see the comparison between this this one this cheap module and, uh, and the original module made by the company so let's go to the wiring now it's very simple here there are uh, written here the pins name they are minus there is minus pin is for the ground and then plus pin for the 5 volt or 3.3 .3. it works with both and signal pin go to an analog read we're gonna use the A0 this thing actually the cheap one is uh, very sensitive and it's not good to use you're gonna see why and it's better to uh, not use a breadboard or something wire directly here and now we're gonna wire it wire our Arduino board So the library I downloaded from the GitHub. It's made by the same company that made the original uh, module. It's very simple to use. Uh, you can uh, measure the BPM or uh, anything else. I already downloaded it, and let's try the first example. So the first example is the getting started project. So what this thing do is actually measure your uh, every time there is a heartbeat so it lights the led here should light so because my led here is not uh, very bright i'm gonna use uh, another led let me check the wiring so i'm gonna use another led in the pin number 13 so here i have ground and pin 13 So now because the code is I think already uploaded let me re-upload it again and because the the, the heart uh, sensor the heart pulse sensor isn't uh, very accurate that's why it's light up uh, like this okay it's already downloaded so here what we should do actually we should open the serial uh, plotter it's very helpful in this situation this is the heart pl uh, this is the signal plotter and then what you should do I should place like my finger here and I wait a little bit uh, so the I can distinguish my heartbeat so here what you should do you should actually stay uh, quiet a little bit and try to listen to your heart and listen to your heartbeats and try to see where it peaks so in the, in the serial plotter you should see where it, pe it uh, peaks and this is your heart like uh, beat so now as you can see it's not detecting anything but we sh you should read the 
see your plotter first so I'm gonna place my finger here and be quiet for a moment and check the serial plotter to synchronize like uh, to see my heartbeat and the reflection in the in the serial plotter So as you can see my heartbeat is around 516 but here in the original code is like 550 I did another code let's see it's this one actually in this second code I have also the, the buzzer I will add it later but now we should focus on our like uh, heartbeat and synchronizing with the lead I'm gonna reopen the serial plotter and be quiet for a moment and I try to synchronize like the heartbeats with the peaks here 17 it should work And as I said, that's what you get when you buy cheap things. So as you can see it's very difficult to distinguish like your heartbeats here and which cause a really problem and I'm gonna show you what what I should uh, what I should get if I bought the original module the genuine version uh, actually has, as you can see the the heartbeats are uh, simple to detect but with this cheap one with one dollar module it's very difficult to detect them so now I can add like my uh, buzzer and I should remember the value I found so I'm gonna add the buzzer in the 3.3 volt pin if you want to see how to use buzzer also with some songs or something you can find it in my uh, previous videos I did about it so the, the buzzer is wired in pin number 2 I should be quiet a little bit again until it works
as you can see this module is uh, very difficult to use I'm gonna unplug it now which makes it very difficult to measure your heartbeats uh, BPM I, there is another code to measure the BPM but as you can see it's very difficult to detect my heart heartbeat we're gonna try it uh, anywhere no problem but uh, as I said if you want like a correct module and good module to have more good measure you should buy genuine version and you can use this uh, like to have fun with it or uh, declare someone is dead or something all the, the code I've used actually are in the library the one that you will not find in library is like uh, this one I just modified it I just added the, uh, like uh, the buzzer I will uh, leave the code also in the link uh, below so the example in the library is a uh, very nice tool gonna press sensor So this one actually should read like uh, the the heartbeats and uh, measure your uh, BPM. And here, don't forget to to do modifications. Like as you can see, the threshold is uh, 550, but we should do the one like you you found. I don't know which one is mine. Uh, it's 519, but it's not very precise as you just saw. We open serial monitor. Oh no, it's not getting started. Sorry, it's the other project. And also, you can add like a pulse. Uh, should fade. Uh, sorry, a LED that fade. Let me modify the baud rate. I could have modified it from the screen, but I like to use uh, this version. Okay, so let's measure now. 